Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Today we're gonna be making some appetizers and desserts to go great with a Super Bowl party or just any time, but it's that time of year. Let's make some yummy food. I'm gonna be sharing three recipes in today's video. If you want some more appetizer videos, I will link them in the description box below. I've done Super Bowl and football food type videos before. So I've got lots more ideas linked below. But the first one we're gonna get started on today goes in the crock pot. It is a dip. It's very simple. It is a jalapeno popper dip. This is gonna be really simple. We will just chop up our jalapenos and combine pretty much everything in the crock pot. I'll cook this and crumble this for later. It will go on top and our sliced onions will go on top later as well. But this is very, very easy. I've also got eight ounces of cream cheese. We're just gonna cube this so that it will kind of melt evenly and distribute throughout in the crock pot. I'm using my small crock pot. You could even use like a two quart. Anything that's really small is gonna be fine because you don't need a lot of room. This is fire roasted corn. I did drain it. We need three cans of this. Next, I've got my two jalapenos that I diced. I mostly seeded these, but I left some of the seeds in because we do like a good bit of spice. Now I just need a half a cup of sour cream. So I'm gonna do about half of this container. And we need about a cup of Mexican blend cheese. And lastly, just a little bit of salt and pepper. Let's mix this really well. And we're gonna top it with our cream cheese that I've cubed. So I'm gonna kind of pull this apart and put it all over top. We're just gonna cover this and cook this on low for about two hours. This says the only op two options I have for low are eight hours and 10 hours, but it is 351 now. So around six o'clock, this will be ready. So we've got our first one in the crock pot. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our dessert so it can set up and we can have that for later. And then we will make our third recipe. But our dessert I got from Six Sisters Stuff. They just recently posted this one. It is called Chubby Hubby Clusters. And it just sounds really good. All the ingredients are exactly what we love and it's no baking involved. Let's do it. Okay, I've got a large microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna be adding one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one cup of peanut butter chips. I've got a half a cup of butter or one stick of butter that I've cut into pieces. And we need just a fourth a cup of peanut butter. We're gonna put this in the microwave on high for 45 seconds, then we'll take it out and stir it. Okay, this is going back in for 30 more seconds. Okay, let's see if this is smooth. If it's not completely smooth, we'll stick it back in for another 20 seconds. Yeah, we still need a little bit longer. Now that this is completely smooth, I'm gonna add in one cup of salted peanuts and two cups of pretzel sticks that I just kind of broke in half. Some of them are a little bit smaller, some are a little larger, but it should work. We're just gonna stir this until they're completely coated. I've got wax paper here on this baking sheet and we're just gonna drop these by a spoonful. I didn't have room for the last four so I just put them on a plate but these are gonna go in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to an hour, but it'll be more like a couple of hours for us. Y'all, these are gonna be so tasty. Okay, the last thing we're gonna make is a staple at any Super Bowl party, and that is chicken wings. We've made these before. I think I showed them in a cook and clean with me a long time ago. They weren't in like a winter dinners or any other type of video, so you may have missed it, but these are air fryer chicken wings, 
and they are the best chicken wings we've ever made. We've made them several times because of it. So I'm gonna share that recipe with you now. So we've got all of these chicken wings here. We had to cut them, I say we, Stephen had to cut them because when I ordered them from Food Lion via Instacart, I didn't realize I was ordering the entire chicken wing. So he had to cut them all up for me, but these are some ginormous chicken wings. In this bowl, we're gonna combine all of our dry rub. So I've got three fourths a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of garlic powder and one tablespoon of garlic salt, two tablespoons of salt and a half a tablespoon of black pepper, and then a half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon each of chili powder and paprika. Let's mix this really well. Okay, that's it. You wanna pat your chicken wings dry. So I'm gonna go all on one side first and flip them and then dry them on the other side as well. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this mixture into a gallon size bag. And let's toss, I don't know, six or seven of these and just make sure that they're coated. I probably could have done a quart size bag probably should have done a quart size bag. Perfect. I am gonna preheat my air fryer. I've got this preheat button. So let's do that first. One thing I forgot to do was lightly spray these with olive oil before I tossed them in here. I think they'll be fine, but for the rest of them, I'm gonna lightly spray them a little bit before we do this, like shake it up in the bag. Okay, so this is done preheating. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna spray this with a little bit of olive oil. Now let's add our chicken wings in. I might be able to do more than just these because this air fryer is a little bit bigger than my old air fryer. So let's see how many we can fit in here. Oh yeah, we can fit a lot more in there. I did spray these with olive oil before I put them in here. These are going in at 400 for 16 minutes. We'll flip them half the way through. Okay, so it's been half the time. I'm gonna take these out and flip them. Okay, these just came out. I wanna check and make sure that they are done. Oh yeah. Just wanted to make sure since they're a little bit larger. These are completely done. I'm gonna take these out and we'll do our next batch. I'm gonna tent these with some aluminum foil and stick our next batch in. I'm just gonna make some ranch for our chicken wings really quickly. I need about a tablespoon and a half of our ranch powder. I need a half a cup of milk. And there are measurements on here. Okay, there we go and a half a cup of mayonnaise. That's it. It is so simple to make and I love this shaker container. It's an easy pour, but you can close it. That stopper really does keep it from leaking and I can just shake it all together. Okay, it's been a little more than two hours. So I'm just gonna reach in here and stir all of this up. Our cream cheese should be good, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, that smells so good. Our air fryer wings are finishing up. I've got bacon here and green onion to go on top.
got corn. We got some kind of. Is that? There's jalapeno in there. You got jalapeno, jalapeno in there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> bad jokes. Some some bacon. Corn. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. I love the sweetness of the corn. It's you know it's sweet and um, with the cream and everything, you yeah. definitely get that cream cheese, corn, creamy corn flavor. Yeah, and then a little bit of spice on the pepper, and then the bacon. So the corn bacon. is fire roasted corn, so it has a little bit of spice to okay. it as well, okay. or a little bit of flavor. I, mm -hmm. I want to say not just plain corn. I'm glad you like that. Yeah. Oh, you like that too. Okay. Oh, he, yes. He's nodding. He's got his hands in oh, chicken yeah. right now. <laughs> mm. Oh, getting some of that jalapeno now. Good. That is nice. I did not completely de-seed it, so I left some of the seeds in just for a little bit of heat. You're Good. welcome. All right, let's get into some of this. Right we here. already know we love these. Oh, yeah. This, this is the best way to do wings right here. That is so good. I love the way this is cooked in the air fryer. We used to do this in the oven and the air fryer is definitely the way to go. It's 10 There's times better. No yeah. question about it. No comparison. No comparison. It's so good. Mm. It's so tender and juicy. Yes, they're perfect. Great flavor. Yeah. There's a, kind of a sweet and savory flavor to it too. I don't know if there's sugar on these or not. But yeah, there's brown sugar as well. Yeah, it's really, really good. I like the sweet and spicy. Yeah contrast there awesome and then I made homemade ranch I don't know if I mentioned that earlier I say homemade I used the powdered ranch and made that earlier mm. Lou this is not for you We're, I'm gonna eat we'll be back and we will try our um, dessert clusters as well okay so I'm gonna try the chubby hubby clusters you've already got one chubby hubby <laughs> that was coming I knew it was I was like oh gosh as soon as I found the recipe, I knew the jokes were coming. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Those salted peanuts and those pretzels add that little bit of the saltiness to it. So you've got the sweet and the salty. That's excellent. I think you'll really like those. He is not the biggest on pretzels. It's not his favorite thing. You know what else would be good though in this? Little mini marshmallows. That would be really good in here too. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you want more inspiration for party appetizers, I've got those linked below in the description box. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. Today we're going to be making some yummy appetizers that would be great for a Super Bowl par party. Ah, why? Party. Be great for a Super Bowl party. It's doing so good. It might help if I plug it in. <laughs> yeah. oh. How about some dip? What was that laugh? It was a little life. Life? All right, look here. What you doing? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just waiting on you. Okay, you yeah. behave. Yeah, we can just stay, stand here and stare at one another if you'd like. Hey. Okay, ready? Right, ready? You sure I don't have nothing on my mouth? I'm absolutely positive. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. I am. I'm not doing it. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, tell them by. Tell them by that way. Uh, here we go. Bye. <laughs> Just tell him bye. What did you say last time? We out. We <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. you ready?
ready? Yeah, I'm telling. Tell them that. Please stop. Okay, I'll stop. Steven. I will. This time is the final time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this gives you some inspiration for your Super Bowl get together. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Hi, I was doing so good. No, no, your hands kind of scared me there for a second. Because I talk with my hands. <laughs> I didn't see it because it wasn't on the thing, but all right. Okay, I'll be quiet now. Thank you.